In this video, I wanna chat about ASME Y14-5 2018 rule number two. So all this information is on page 36 of the printed standard. Rule number two has to do with the concept of regardless of feature size and regardless of material boundary. Now, before 2009, they meant the same thing. RFS was RMB. What it means, is that when you have a feature of size, you have what's known as a material condition. A material condition is just where, how the geometric tolerances relate to the actual size of the produced feature. So for the most part, unless you specify MMC or LMC, a uh, feature's geometric tolerance has nothing to do with its size. You have to specifically invoke the MMC or LMC principles. So. If you missed a previous video, MMC stands for Maximum Material Condition. It means that that geometric tolerance applies only at the MMC. As it departs from the MMC, so a hole gets bigger or a shaft gets smaller, you get more geometric tolerance equal to that departure. LMC is just the opposite. So the geometric tolerance only applies at the least material condition, so the largest the largest hole or the smallest shaft. So an LMC hole is typically used to control something like wall thickness. The largest hole has the most restrictive tolerance. As the hole gets smaller, it can be off of its geometric tolerance. So say if it's a hole through a plate, as the produced hole gets smaller, you have more tolerance for the position. For the MMC concept, the same hole, as the hole gets bigger, you get more positional tolerance. Now, the default is not one of those. The default is regardless of feature size. All this means is that, like I said before, the geometric tolerance has nothing to do with the size. So say a hole comes in big, doesn't matter, the position is whatever is stated in the feature control frame. If the hole comes in small, same thing, it has nothing to do with the other. Now, this sounds great, right? It's really easy to remember, but it's more difficult to manufacture, manufacture and inspect things like this, where RFS is typically used as parts that are press fit together or used for locating. If you don't need RFS, you really shouldn't use it. It's the most restrictive way to apply geometric tolerances. That's why it defaults to that. So the idea is if the designer or draftsperson forgets to apply an MMC and leaves it RFS, no big deal. The parts are still gonna fit together, might just be more, a little more expensive to produce. So kind of like a safety net, just like Tolerances on a drawing, so they go to the title block, and typically title block tolerances are more restrictive than what a designer might put on there if he was individually tolerancing every single feature. So that was a quick explanation. Why don't I go through the actual printed version? So this is rule number two, RFS and RMB default. RFS is the default condition for geometric tolerance values. That MMC or LMC material condition modifier may be applied to a geometric tolerance value to override the RFS default. So I've got an example on the screen here. This is a typical position tolerance. So you notice there's no MMC in there with the tolerance. So we assume this is default. Now this only works for features of size. So things position or a perpendicularity applied to a, a hole or a cylinder, but wouldn't apply with flatness applied to a surface. Surface is not a feature of size. However, flatness can be applied to a center plane, which is a feature of size. So I give you an example right here of the two kinds of flatness. It's important to be able to spot the different placements of the feature control frame, okay? So you know exactly what feature is the datum. The next part to the written rule, RMB is the default condition for datum feature references. The MMB or LMB material 
boundary modifier may be applied to a datum feature reference to override the RMB default. So this gets a little trickier, but it's not too bad, okay? All this means when you apply an MMC or a LMC to a datum feature reference, you're just indicating how the inspector can inspect it. So say it's, I've got an example up here of a center plane applied at MMC. It means the inspector can inspect that with a hard gauge. So say he sets two planes apart, as long as the part drops in there, he can measure everything else from that without having to collapse onto the part. I would make another video about that. There's a whole can of worms with it. The thing to remember, if you see MMCs on datum feature references, it's a good thing, okay? It might be a little tricky to figure out, but it means you have more tolerance. On something like a CMM machine, where you just program it in, it's pretty much always a good thing. So people see more symbols in the feature control frame and they think, oh geez, oh, gee whiz, this is over tolerance. There's, there's two whole segments in here, right? There's all these extra symbols. It actually usually means the designer spent more time figuring out how to give manufacturing and inspection more tolerance, okay? So the last part of the written rule is a note. Note circular runout, total runout, orientation tolerances applied to a surface, profile of a line, profile of a surface, circularity, and cylindricity cannot be modified to apply at MMC or LMC. Those are just not uh, applicable. Uh, easy enough, pretty hard and fast rule. But it doesn't say though, is that profile of a surface and profile of a line can have their datum feature references modified at MMC or LMC, okay? So I've got an example for you of that there. It just means when you're inspecting that profile, when you do the setup, you can set that up at the virtual condition or maximum material boundary instead of having to collapse onto the part, okay? So that's it for this quick video on rule number two. Just watch out for the feature control frames. One, make sure it applies to a feature of size, okay? It has to be a feature of size for rule number two to come into effect. And look out for that LMC or MMC. If it's a feature of size and it doesn't have the MMC or LMC symbol, it's regardless of feature size, okay? So you just gotta watch out for how you're gonna inspect that and interpret it, okay? So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out the channel for more videos like this in the future.